Welcome back everyone to Lore of the Shadow where I am here in a refurbished library in the last home we house. They apparently did some really nice work over here while we were away. Now let's see what Elrond needs me to do. I hope it's not to do more decorations here. Dark days are coming. Oh boy. Did you light this place up because the days were getting darker? Pine Lore, I have an undertaking that I believe that you would be suited for. Servants of the enemy, under the guise of riders in black, recently tried to cross the Bruin Inn. The river's water swept them away at my command. Perhaps they no longer threaten them, Ladris, but we can't be certain. Scouts have been sent out to determine whether the Black Riders truly fell at the ford. My sons will soon set out to do the same, but I have also entrusted them with an errand of their own. I would ask that you travel with them to Lothlorien to meet with their grandmother, Lady Galadriel. Though I can't fully reveal the purpose of their errand, I trust that the three of you will keep each other safe. Eladon awaits you outside. May you search bear fruit. Alright, so I am to go on a quest with Eladan and Elro here to escort them to their grandmother's house. Alright, what could possibly go wrong there? Nothing goes wrong when someone goes to their grandmother's house, right? <sighs> ah, here we are. Oh, Eladon, what big eyes you've got. Oh. Hail, Pine Lore. Elra here has gone ahead to search the Bruin Inn, but he wished to pass on his greetings as well. Were to travel to Eregion, then through the Redhorn Pass into Lothlorien. May any preparations you may require. We have a long trek ahead of us. All right, fine. I will prepare, and soon we will be ready. What do I need to be ready for? I'm sure that we've kept over here waiting long enough. And we've got a twist, because this is a mission of sorts. Add low health monsters in this mission will attempt to end their own lives to damage and apply a fear effect to those nearby. Wonderful. What are we facing? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Whatever we're facing, it's in the high moor. Right, Eladon? Other scouts already told me about the insects swarming the Bruin Inn, but I've never seen such an infestation before. Elro here and I agreed to see how many we could each defeat before meeting downstream. Since he's already gotten a head start, perhaps we could work together? Surely that doesn't count as cheating? <laughs> oh, wonderful. I, okay. Let's see what we can do. I wonder if Elra here found anything that by now. I have absolutely no idea about that. But we seem to be taking out the insects pretty easily. Right, that's four. Oh, you you really are going to be counting this, aren't you? And we. Oh, maggots! Does everything count or only flies? I wasn't quite sure. Nine! Oh, I guess that answers that question. At this rate, I'm sure that we'll catch up with Elro here. Yeah, I guess this is the next... How about cracked earth inside the water? Uh, well, okay, uh, yes, I, I guess there is earth at the bottom of the stream and seeing that we're at a ford the stream should be rather shallow at this point are those horses well yeah but we didn't kill the horses remember they were already dead anyways did your father kill them or something like that and oh all right we'll, we'll have to take care of these guys then Now, what do we have here? They look like dead horses to me. One, two, 
three. I count three of them. It seems that the swarm found the Black Rider's mounds. I count only three steeds, however. The river may have carried the rest further. Go, find Elro here in the fence and see if he requires any aid. I shall stay behind to make sure that the riders do not escape into the woods. Oh, and let him know how many insects we defeated. I'm sure that he was no match for us. <sighs> I believe that Elro here is somewhere this way. Uh, and there are also several insects here, apparently. Alright, be careful of the insects here. I think we should count anything killed by this cat separately. He seems to be beating both of them. There you go. Okay, good. And you? Yeah, yep, yeah, th these maggots. These sickle flies to be. Well, or not to be. Yeah, definitely not to be. Nah, let's see, what else have we got? Oh, more, more maggots. Come along, maggots! There you go. Oh, and Neeky Breakers. Ooh! Neek Break. Neek Break. There. Yeah, that's done. Now I think. Oh, is this the last one? A mature carrion fly. Well, okay, I can understand why there'd be carrion flies here near those dead horses. That actually makes some sort of sense. And I guess I should go and speak to Elro here at some point. As soon as I finish off this sneaker breaker. And there you go. Don't go get that. That should be enough, right? I guess it'll be depending on whether or not the quest ring pops up when I get near. Oh, okay. Well, and your turn. Good. Your turn. Good. Ugh. More of them. Yeah, I guess more of them. Oh, a couple of them even more mature than others. Any more? Yet yeah, lots more. Two of them, in fact. Two big ones. Hey, and... The cat puts us to shame. That's the last of them. How's your search gone? Well, we found three horses, but it looks like you... Found a few yourself. Eladon convinced you to help him with our little competition, didn't he? I kept track at first, but I would hear gestures to the nearby horses, corpse. What I found, or rather, what I didn't find, troubled me. Three horses upstream, five here. That makes eight of those nine mounts accounted for. I scoured every part of the wood for the riders, but to no avail. If any of them linger in the troll shawls, they have made themselves scarce. Hold on. What's that in the water? Is that a cloak? Yeah, that looks like a cloak to me. It's a black cloak. The black cloak is tattered and marred along with long slashes. I could find nothing to note. I hope your search fared better. I found this black cloak, but nothing more. Oh. Then I suppose that we must be only trace of the left of the riders. My hope is that they have fled back to their masters. Oh, that's mere speculation. The answers escape me. For now? For now. Ooh, and I get a chest. With tokens of further adventure! Uh, let's get back to camp. And our camp appears to be at Echad Kandeleth. Well, what do you say? 
I have faith that the waters of the Bruinen dealt with the riders a devastating blow. However, the less certain we are of the riders' fate, the more worried my heart grows. Tracking the movements of the enemy is of the utmost importance for our errand. After everything that's happened, I find that our lack of information is unsettling. Hmm. So what do we do? Our many questions may be answered soon. I spied one of the great eagles flying southeast. Perhaps they bear fresh news. We shall set out for Eregion at once. Okay, we will go to Eregion. So what's the twist here? Watch the skies, Pine Lore. I will do the same. Twist. Crushing. Some monsters in this mission will attempt a crushing attack, wounding and stunning anyone hit. Well, that could be a bit of a problem. I guess let's go. And our search has brought us here to Pembar in Eregion. Now, I haven't done any questing here yet, but Pembar is noted for worms and drakes and stuff like that. In fact, I see even see some worm eggs there. This doesn't sound like a fun place to be at the moment if the worms come back. Pine Lore, I'm certain the eagle noticed our presence and flew here, but I don't see him. Uh, do you? Over here surveys the area outside the ruins and frowns. Hmm. Where do we go then? Eladon, we'll take a look around. I shall stay here, just in case. Be careful. Oh, don't worry, we'll be back soon. Uh-oh. Why would the eagle ignore us? Could he be mistaken about its location? Wait, up ahead! Is that a dead boar? Mm. Those don't look like eagle footprints. But it looks like they continue to the west, whatever they are. Whatever killed these boars was an even match in size for our friend. Over here holds up a feather that is certainly too large to belong to any normal bird. It seems I wasn't wrong about the location after all. He must have left the area once he realized that he had intruded upon someone else's territory. Of course, I doubt that creature, whatever it is, was an even match in power. After all, the eagles are more than capable folk, but this creature may be dangerous to someone traveling through the area, and that does not bode well for our errand. And also what doesn't bode well is that this thing was hopping with very, very long strides. Or flying and landing, perhaps. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Okay. Well, these are obviously too small. So we'll have to deal with that. Uh, so I will presume that their big brother is who made the footprints. More dead boars. Okay. But then, why are the boars not eaten? Oh, this side. Yeah, oh. I suppose the Drakelings hated having their meal interrupted. Yeah, it's always a possibility. Actually, let's... Oh, oh there, there's, there's a bigger one right over there. There you go. How about... Oh, there, there, that's one way to interrupt the big brother. Not quite large enough yet. Don't relax yet! No, I guess not. And... Oh, okay. Well, that's that crushing blow they were talking about in the twist area, I guess. Crushed. Can can I get rid of that? 
Yes, I can. Good. Those drakes didn't match up um, with the footprints. All right. Okay, that's a young drake. So we're... Then we're looking for mommy then. All right. Not big brother, but mommy. All right. That's what we're going to have to deal with. And... There you go. A little shock therapy for the drakes. Onward! Forward! That must be the drake we're looking for. A matron, no less. Yep, mommy. I'll follow your lead. <laughs> of course! Of course. Well, let's take care of mommy and then the kitties. Next! Next! Ah, well fought! Okay, we're, we're <laughs> Please don't do that to me. That Drake matron commanded a most fearsome brood. It'll be safer here now, though I fear that we'll change. We ought to head back to Pimbar. Eladon must be wondering where we are. Well, I suppose we should go back. And it appears that an eagle has decided to talk to us now. Greetings! You have my thanks for defeating the drakes. I had no desire to involve myself with them, seeing as how they do not threaten me or my kin, but they did not care for my presence. At least I may now deliver my message more easily. We have not discovered any signs of the Black Riders, nor any other tidings of the enemy's servants. However, wolves gather along the banks of the Anduin in great numbers. What this indicates, I cannot say I know. Hmm. Well, what about that? If even your people haven't seen the Riders, they must have disappeared from the north. They might be fooling us. I'm not as convinced. So I wonder why the wolves near the Anduin have grown bolder. Thank you for your efforts. Your efforts are much appreciated. Then I will take my leave. Good fortune in your travels. And good fortune and... Good tokens. And now we arrived here in Echad Eregion, which is... Not exactly a safe place to go at this level, if I remember correctly. This is what, somewhere in the 40... Level 50! Yes, yeah, stay away! Don't go outside the safe zone. Pine Lore, I'm sorry I didn't thank you earlier for helping Elder here at Pembar. I needed time to gather my thoughts. When the two of you left, I found myself pacing around out of nervousness. Perhaps it's the gravity of the errand we've been entrusted with. Or does my worry stem from some everything else that's happened? The forces at play have long since been set in motion. There is much we don't have control over, but I tell myself that we are doing what we can. I have to believe that. You have to believe that. But of course, now we have another chapter. Where are we going to go next in our travels from Rivendell to Lothlorien? We'll have to find that out in the next episode of Lore of the Shadows.